Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. We are back with another snack review for you. This is another snack review courtesy of our good friend Dan Morrison. This is Compliments Sriracha Lime Kettle Cooked Peanuts. Now if you remember, we've already done a review of their three pepper barbecue um, flavor, I believe they were called. They were absolutely delicious. I meant to doctor them up with hot peppers and make them even spicier, but I don't even think they survived that day. They were so good, I we just couldn't help ourselves, and we ate them very quickly. So, luckily, this time I'm reviewing them at home, so I don't have far to go to the cupboard of pepper powder, so I think we'll definitely be able to split this bag right after the review, and get some of them doctored up even spicier depending on how this goes anyways but you know me I like it a little bit spicier pardon me so uh, same as before Dan Morrison found these at Safeway in Kamloops these are prepared for Sobeys so anywhere that stocks Sobeys products you'll be able to find these and you can also find these at their website which is uh, off the top of my head um, eluding me compliments.ca slash en maybe but I will definitely leave that link to that website in the description box down below so you can check out the compliments website and see what they got going on so let's take a look at the bag here I really like the look of it kind of a dark reddish burgundy almost color bowl of peanuts there they look nicely Nicely seasoned on the outside there. They're surrounded by chilies, lime, other peanuts. Meat, they give this a medium heat rating. Photo enlarged to show texture. No artificial flavors or colors. That's a good one to see. These are kettle cooked. I don't remember if I... I think I might, may have said that when I when I uh, announced the name. And the name will be in the title of the video, of course, anyways. But anyways, let's have a sit down here. Maggie's just right here at my feet. I was trying to get her to sit up for the beginning of the video, because that's the best time to get her in. But I think she'll probably poke her head up at some point, point um, at the very least, as soon as I open these up. But before I open them up, <laughs> she's already showing interest. I'm gonna read through the ingredients on the bag here. There's a few ingredients on the list for sure, and uh, at first I was contemplating not reading them all out, but I decided to do a little bit of research on the ingredients. So I'm going to read them out first, then we'll go over some of the things afterwards. The ingredients are peanuts, canola oil, and seasoning. Now, this is where it gets kind of funny. The seasoning consists of salt, sugar, garlic powder, red bell pepper, fructose, glucose, sodium acetate, spices, citric acid, malic acid, acetic acid, yeast extract, I said that kind of funny, yeast extract, natural flavor, lime juice, high oleic sunflower oil, corn maltodextrin, concentrated beet juice, spice extract, lactic acid, calcium lactate, dextrose, calcium silicate, and silicone dioxide. May contain tree nuts. Now, to be honest with you, when I first read that, there was there's so many things in there that I am unfamiliar with that I got a little bit nervous about doing this review because I don't want to trash talk a product but I will always be honest about it but there's a lot of things in there that I don't recognize so instead of just listing them off and opening up the bag I decided to get on the uh, laptop and do a little bit of research and it's actually not as scary as it sounds I'll just say that they make the claim on the front no artificial flavors or colors so that's that's just something to keep in mind there. Storage, store in a cool, dry place. Now, open these up. I'll tell you a little bit about those mystery ingredients in a minute here. Mmm, 
can smell like peanuts. You can smell the lime. They almost smell like a barbecue peanut. Yeah, it just reminds me of a barbecue peanut kind of a thing. I suppose sriracha. I suppose. Hmm. Okay, I'll show you what's going on inside here. Here's what we're dealing with. To be honest, I haven't even looked in there. <laughs> Yeah, nice, decent, evenly coated. What do you think? They smell pretty good. Eh? They smell like a, a good barbecue peanut. Let's have a seat again. Try a couple of them. Oh, well, I'll show you a couple of them too in my hand, of course. I always do that. I sit back down and then I realize that we have business to take care of still. So here you go, there's a close-up of a few of them. Decently coated in the crevices there, for sure. Where the peanuts halves meet. Good amount of coating there. Let's try them out. So from compliments, these are the Sriracha Lime Kettle Cooked Peanuts from our friend Dan Morrison. Keep my shorts. good. They are good. I am getting the lime. I'm getting the garlic. I'll say onion. I'm almost sure there's onion in there somewhere. No. Mmm. Those are really good. Let's see here. My homework. I did some homework for you all. And I even took notes and took a picture of my notes so I'm not rustling paperwork around. So. Sodium acetate is an organic sodium salt, preservative to pre 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 sorry, a preservative to prevent bacterial growth, maintain a specific pH, and enhance flavor. Then we have acetic acid, which is an organic compound, and is what gives vinegar the sour taste and the pungent smell. Then we have malic acid, which is an, another organic compound, contributes to the sour taste of fruits. Lactic acid, oops, screen just went blank. Lactic acid is an organic acid. It's actually present in our bodies. I believe it's the, the acid that makes us sore when we're uh, stiff from exercise. I believe that's lactic acid if I'm not mistaken. That's not in my homework, that's just off the top of my head. Lactic acid is added to breads, desserts, olives, and jams to give them longer shelf lives. Shelf lives. My apology. Also kills and suppresses bacteria, prevents discoloration, and acts as a gelling and curing agent. Lactic acid. Maltodextrin. I think this is the one that sounded, yeah, this one sounded scary at first. Maltodextrin, corn or wheat derived filler carbohydrate. That doesn't sound very good, does it? 
used to improve the mouth feel of foods and beverages. So the, what it sounds like, the way it feels in your mouth. I've never heard the word mouth feel before, but it's self self-explanatory. Um, it's used in potato chips and jerky, commonly. It's also used as a sugar substitute sometimes, and it's also used as a thickener in infant formula. So it can't be that bad if it's a thickener in infant formula, you think, right? That's maltodextrin, um, corn or wheat derived filler. Uh, this one specifies that it is corn maltodextrin, which is more common in North America. Wheat maltodextrin is more common in Europe, from what I understand. Where were we now? Calcium silicate, um, an inorganic anti-caking agent. So this is the first one that's not organic. Uh, calcium silicate is generally recognized as safe at levels not exceeding 5% in baking powder and 2% in other food. So it's not terrible for you, but it doesn't sound like it's great for you either. And it just anti-caking, it keeps things from sticking together, which is, I believe, the same as the next one. Silicone dioxide, natural compound made of silicone and oxygen also known as silica. Yep, this one is an anti-caking agent in powders, found naturally in water, plants, animals, and 59% of the Earth's crust is silica. So, I guess it can't be that bad either, I suppose, if it's found in uh, all of those things. And those are all the ones that really had me stumped, so those are the ones I wanted to share with you. A few ingredients that sounded kind of scary, but didn't it turned out to be pretty decent for sure. I'm gonna need a couple more of these because I like these. These are tasty. The powder really, the seasoning really sticks to your fingers when you dig into the bag, unfortunately, but. I'd say keep a, keep a napkin or a dog around, but I guess there's garlic and onions in this, so you don't want to be feeding these to your dogs in large amounts. The size of this peanut. We had a huge one on the last one, too. I'm going to show you. The size of this peanut compared to the other ones, that's hilarious. That one in the front there. Right there. That's a big one. <laughs> it's twice the size of the one beside it. That is a big peanut. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. Crunchy. You probably heard that on the camera. The kettle cooked. I believe kettle cooked, they start at a low temperature, and they cook them longer, I think, and they start low, and then they ramp up the temperature as it cooks, and then it gives them more of a crispy, crunchy. Mm-hmm. What's the word? Texture? We'll go with texture. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you're interested? Why don't you come say hello? She's poking her nose up. You might even be able to see her, not quite. Um, really good. Really flavorful. Really snackable. But they're not hot. When, they, when I saw that they had spice extract, I got excited. I thought they might be really spicy. But I do, I don't like saying this in every video. My tolerance is slightly higher than the average person, maybe. Um, I did a tube of terror on Friday. It's been a few days, but I do hit the tincture every day. So the spice extract that is in this is not as potent as what's in that tincture. Very tasty though. I need this last little handful and then I'm gonna stop eating in front of you. Mm hmm. Blow them up. Just so I don't tempt, my, tempt myself with more of them. These are really good. These are really tasty, really snackable. 
yeah, I'm getting just almost a barbecue flavor. I guess you could call that a sriracha because there's a little bit of the, the pepper flavor, like a little bit of it coming through with the garlic and the onions. It's good. Oh, Maggie's playing with her foxy. So for, let's talk about the heat, I suppose. For me, it, it doesn't move my needle at all. It's a zero out of 10 on my heat scale. But however, I could see if, if you're new, new to this and if you're really sensitive to spicy foods, I could see it being, I could see it moving your needle on the spice, spice-a-meter. <laughs> spice-a-meter, is that a new one? I'm sure somebody said it before. But it's tough to say because it doesn't move my needle at all. So maybe it could be a one or a two for somebody that's never eaten spicy things. But if you like barbecue peanuts, you'll probably like these. If you want them spicier, you can always make them spicier. Close it back up, put some pepper powder in it, shake it up. These are really good. And I'm, I am going to do that, actually. Because I'm at home, I don't have to snack on them on my drive home this time. Thank you very much, Dan Morrison. That's awesome of you to, to donate these to the cause, to put, push the channel forward and to give us something to do today. That's really cool. Um, the weather outside, the last time I, I did a, a video outside, I think it was a couple days ago now, I don't remember how hot it was then. It's gotten even hotter today. It's supposed to get up to 40, is that right? No, sorry, yesterday it got up to 44 degrees, I believe, which is 111.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm trying to read my, my notes underneath the camera. They're kind of small, I should have wrote them smaller. <laughs> They're calling for 48 degrees today on the forecast, 48 degrees Celsius. I'm not going to convert that one to Fahrenheit because I didn't do it ahead of time. And tomorrow they're calling for 49 degrees. That's that's wild. Our air conditioner, you could probably hear it in the background, just working overtime. It pretty much works all day. We got old windows in this place. This probably doesn't have the best insulation. But it's decently cool in here. I think last night it was... 78 degrees uh, inside here, so that's not too bad. That's that's definitely livable. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is this little doggie. Come here, Maggie. This will get her up. Yeah, see, that's all it takes. Good girl. Maggie's doing quite a bit better. Big stretch. Yeah. Come here, Megs. Come here. Yeah. Her belly is feeling a lot better now. Looking a lot better. I mean, I, I assume it's feeling better because it looks a lot better. She's been wearing her cone, she's been behaving and leaving her belly alone, so it's getting a lot better. And she seems a lot happier today too, so I really, we really appreciate all of the, the comments and concerns and the messages and the thoughts and just all of you. You've been very supportive and we've been passing along your messages and belly rubs and Maggie appreciates it. She loves her attention for sure. So, yeah, yeah, you love your family, don't you? You love all your friends. She knows this is her channel, for sure. She knows it. Yeah. So, other than this, right, um, would I buy these again? Yes, you should try these, and I, I, I buy another bag of these. These are great. These are really delicious. I'm really excited to doctor him up and make him even spicier. I'm gonna do that as soon as this video is over. Uh oh, looks like Maggie wants to be silly. What are you doing, Maggie? What are you doing? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna thank my parents and Lady Shorts for all the help with Maggie over the last few days. My parents mixed up a nice um, ointment for her and dropped off the cone for us to use and. Lady Shorts has been really taking care of Maggie and keeping an eye on the wound and keeping an eye on her to make sure she's behaving and yeah, just being a good mommy, a good Lady Shorts, a good partner, so a great partner. So I think we'll end the video here. Um, thank you for spending this time with us. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you've tried these compliments, peanuts, let us know in the comment section down below. Let us know what your favorite flavor of the compliments, peanuts are. 
and one of these days I'm going to go in search of some more flavors of these. This is a 20 minute video already, holy smokes, my apology or you're welcome, depending, depending on how you look at that. Um, this has been an enjoyable for, video for me to make, so I hope you've enjoyed watching it, and I, we appreciate each and every one of you. This has been another snack review with Maggie and Steve at Heat My Shorts, courtesy of our friend Dan Morrison. Give us some awesome compliments. Sriracha lime flavored kettle cooked peanuts. Thanks everybody. I hope you have a great day. Hope you're able to stay cool out there. And make sure you're drinking lots of water. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Love you all.